real quick pajamas and all now if i write you and i ask you you know how's your day going or how did your day go and you say it's going well or it went well and you don't say anything else after that unmatched quite frankly you might be blocked because it's really given like i'm trying to be chased and i don't know if you noticed I don't know if you noticed it out, babe, but I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm not running nowhere. And I'm definitely not running behind you. I can't disagree with this, dude. Uh, not because she's fat. It's all right um, to be on a dating app and look at somebody that you don't think is very attractive and give them. But I would always err on the side of at least telling them that you're not attracted to them. Or maybe they're too far away from you. Or maybe you just don't think it's going to work. I would always err on that instead of like sitting there and texting them for like a day or two. And then be like, <coughs> never mind. I'm going to completely ghost this individual. But I do see what she's saying. A lot of girls do this just default, man. A lot of girls will give the one or two word responses. I don't know what it's like on the other end because I'm not gay. So I'm not dating men. So I have no idea what it's like to have dudes just give you one or two syllable one or two syllable responses and then just sit there and just be baffled, I guess. I have no idea. I've always thought that dudes had to put in like 150% effort if they ever decided to ever get a date in their life ever. So I'm not really sure what it's like on the female side, but I totally agree with her on this one, dude. Um, if you're a guy and you don't want to talk to her, just let her know. Just let her know. I don't know what the relevance of her being fat is. I guess she's not running for anybody in general. Let's be honest here for a second, dude. Um, which is really sad to even say that, dude. To reference that you're big as hell and that you can't run in general. It's really sad. But regardless, she's not wrong. Okay. Good day. The secrets I could tell about being a plus-size woman in the dating world is out of this world. The amount of people that are ashamed that they like plus-size people is a lot larger than you fucking think. I really wonder what they mean by like plus size people because most of the time, if I hear somebody say they like plus size people, it's mostly them just talking about having sex with you. And that's okay. You can like having sex with a lot of different type of people, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's practical, right? That doesn't mean that it's gonna necessarily happen. I know a lot of dudes out there that tell me, man, dude, I only fuck with baddies, dog. I need a woman that's like a 10 out of 10, dude. I need a woman that's got painted nails, painted everything, dude. She gotta have her hair did it all the time. That's never gonna happen, right? Let's be honest here for a second. Um, these dudes all look like bags of oranges. So most of the time, even though they like to do a particular thing, they they would like to be with a particular woman. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be able to be with that particular woman and vice versa, I'm sure. So I would always ask questions when people say stuff like this. Um, I'm sure that there are groups of men out there that are ashamed at the fact that they have to. They have a deep desire on having sex with big girls or dating big girls because in society, being fat is not a very appropriate thing because our society is built off of being aerobic, right? For the most part, at least I would say so. Like our society has sidewalks, our society has stairs. Sure, we have accessibility tools, but most those are usually made for people that need those accessibility tools. Don't get me wrong. If you need to use an elevator, go ahead. Or if you want to use an elevator, go ahead. But um, and we're kind of over time, we are slowly but surely drifting off into a more sedentary lifestyle. But uh, overall, I would still say that society is built for being aerobic and it sucks a lot of ass and a lot of big, giant, massive meats that um, there are a lot of fat people out there because you need to navigate that world, right? It, it sucks that you can't do that optimally. And uh, I would always err on the side of trying to be a little bit thinner so you can navigate it more successfully. But I don't doubt that usually when people say they like fatter girls, it's probably not necessarily a good thing for them in their brain because they probably are told that it's not good to be fat. So it's like a cognitive dissonance. Like, I like really, really fat girls, but I know it's unhealthy. Sorry, I know it's unhealthy. I know it's bad for you, but I just really want to slide my penis in between the fupas or like the extra folds or the back boobs or whatever. I don't know. I have been with misogynistic men who think they are the alpha male and just that very mucho macho kind of crap but they secretly love a big bitch i don't know most of those like mucho macho dudes are the most insecure guys out there dude uh, the amount of times i've met a guy that thinks that he's the prize or a guy that thinks that women should do all his bidding or whatever the hell i need mean, a lot of these dudes most of these dudes are very very insecure and they're just basically projecting their insecurities upon the person that they're with and they want to date really really weak women which is fine um if you want to be in a relationship with somebody that's basically just a walking talking brick and has no emotional capacity at all and you want to date a woman that has absolutely nothing 
nothing to give you with the exception of, I guess, maybe her body. That's fine, too. If you want to do that, I'm not here to hate on anybody's relationship. I would just really ask you one question. Do you guys have any conversations about anything? No, you don't? Okay, that's fine. But a lot of men out there will do that. A lot of men think that women are just literal, like, organisms for things, organisms for their penises, for a lot of um, all things considered, which, again, if you want to date a guy or you want to be a guy that wants to date women that have no personalities or whatever because you deduce that women are just walking, talking bricks or like walking, talking vaginal holes, whatever, that's up to you. Um, totally fine. Uh, I would just really stress like if you guys are actually doing anything outside that relationship besides like coming home, looking at her and then beating off, I guess, and then going back to work. Like that sounds like a terrible life. But uh, I don't think this is um, – I don't think this is something that's so, the, the strictly affecting fat girls. I would always actually, I would actually say that it's probably affecting regular women probably more so because regular sized women, average sized women are probably having more contact with men in general compared to plus size individuals because being plus size means that the pool of men that are going to be interested in you are going to be severely diminished. So I would, I would probably err on the side of most women or this is just a general thing that's happening across the board. Mucho macho kind of crap but they secretly love a big bitch. They love it. When you're plus size and dating, it's almost natural to accept less than the bare minimum. Let's talk about plus size dating. I was just watching Sex in the City and it triggered this very specific memory. Long story short, this guy really liked this girl in the show, but he'd only take her to hole in the wall restaurants because he didn't want to be seen with her because he didn't think she was beautiful enough. I feel like most fat people who have dated around have experienced some form of this. This guy I dated used to take me to these ups. That, that's really sad, bro. I mean, I know that this is something that probably does happen, but it's it never becomes less sad to hear somebody say that they dated a guy that didn't want to show them off in public because they were afraid that the social cues that they would receive for dating that individual person is not optimal for them. So they just decide to maybe date them under under wraps. You should never be in a position like that, by the way. Um, if the person that you're with is ashamed to date you and they don't want to show you off, like, don't get me wrong. If it's like a social media thing, I know a lot of people that have a really hard time um, when they're dating, they go, why don't you post me? Why don't you ever post me? And then like those people have to like tell them like, well, I'm not really, I don't really want to display you in this particular, this particular type of way. I think it's a difference between showing somebody off on social media than there is showing somebody off in public and necessarily not even really showing somebody off in public. Most of the time when you do stuff in public, you're inadvertently showing them off. It's like a passive showing off rather than if you're posting, posting them on Instagram or any of these other apps. You're doing that actively. That's an active thing. That's a, that's something that you had to do. You had to think about it and you did it. If you're navigating out in the world or you just happen to go to a restaurant or do something out in public, that's just what it is. Like it's passive. You're with that person and a byproduct of that, of that is that you're together in public. Whereas like on social media, it's not. So I think um, there's a difference there. But if you're talking about somebody not trying to show you off in public, that is terrible, dude. That is very terrible. You should never have to put up with that, fat or not your hole in the wall restaurants that were really good but kind of random or we'd go on mini adventures which meant like mini road trips or we do the exact opposite which was exclusively hanging out in his house I, I would love to know like how you discovered that this guy didn't actually want to be with you and then also i would stress how long did it take you to find out that this guy was just basically using you and he didn't want to show anybody by the way like how many people are really going to judge you out in public for you dating a plus size person like i i've i've been listen i've gone out in the world right i've navigated society most people don't want to talk to you post covid especially most people are very antisocial. most people just don't want to have interactions with anybody ever so i would always like what do you think it is like the starbucks barista when you order a i don't know an iced coffee for you and your girlfriend you think the starbucks barista is going like oh my god did you see how fat she was she was so big oh my god did you, are you surprised that she, he he only ordered her one drink i was like wow where's the donut like where is the extra croissant like I, is that what you're thinking is happening in the back dude i don't think anybody's doing that i think most people are enjoying their life most people are don't even give a fuck about you which is beautiful in a way i mean granted you might be like so beautiful that people like literally have to stop and look at you just to appreciate the beauty of you and then like you make a major impact on them um but that's not most people most people are just living their own lives doing their own things and you're just like a small insignificant part of their life which is beautiful so i would really struggle with, like if you even are in a scenario like that that person that's dating you that guy for instance in this scenario he just got really deep insecurities okay um i don't like plus size women but it's not necessarily it's not necessarily because i'm deeply upset that society might look down upon me i don't more or less care what society thinks about me dating a plus size person just more so me just i don't like 
uh, women that are bigger. And I think that's probably most people. I think most people just don't like the fact that somebody's unhealthy or they have bad um, habits that would uh, that would contribute to the unhealthiness. I'd invite him to events, but he was always busy. And even after a few months, I never met any of his friends. Of course not. I don't think that that's that big of a deal, bro. Um, not meeting friends is most people that I've met nowadays don't even have IRL friends. They just have friends that they know on Discord or like they know in like chat rooms they met somewhere or something like that. So even in these scenarios, like you could have like high school friends and things like that, but most of these dudes are doing stuff and they don't really hang out with you to the same degree that I feel like a lot of people do. And I feel like it's a very niche thing to be like, oh, wanna hang, hey babe, do you wanna like go meet my friends? Like, do you wanna like hang out with my friends so you can like hear my friends talk about like what size penis they would suck first? depending on how much money they were gonna be paid for that like have you ever hung around dudes ever like sure dudes will have meaningful conversations every once in a while but for the most part uh i don't know if you if anybody knows this but most guys will tell you this it's just conversations about like bullshit like things that absolutely make no sense at all like hey could you be like if jeff bezos knocked at your door and he asked you hey i'm gonna give you like Amazon Prime for six months free. All you got to do is just suck me off to completion right now and you'll get that sick. Like, would you do that? And that's what we talk about for hours, on hours, on hours. And I'm not even joking. And there's something therapeutic about it. I know women tend to have long, meaningful conversations that have a lot of detail and they actually talk about things of value. Most dudes don't. Most dudes don't. I Maybe I'm just being like really sexist here or like maybe it's just the conversations I have. But I, I've talked to a very large percentage of men. Most dudes don't have these types of conversations. It's, I mean, they happen every once in a while. But I would say maybe 10% of the time. The rest of that 90% of the time is just asking your friends whether or not they could date a woman that uh, would peg them. You know, like could you date this really, really hot woman if it meant – that she's gonna peg you every once in a while. Oh yeah, but she's like really like you know what I'm talking about. Like it's just that or ask like it's just what it is. So uh, I don't know. Like, do you want to be my friends? Like that's all it's gonna be. That's it. Is just like talking about whether or not you would let your girlfriend peg you or not. I don't know. But he was always busy. And even after a few months, I never met any of his friends. I think meeting the parents, depending on how many months you're in the relationship for, maybe like six months you could meet the parents. But uh, maybe meeting the parents is a little bit more significant than meeting the friends. I don't. I, I, to me personally, I don't. I've never like. Di I've dated women and I've never let them meet my friends, not at least like in person. Like maybe they've talked to my friends like while I was gaming with them or something like that, but nothing really past that. Of course, now looking back, I can see the red flags, but you know, at the time I was very dumb and I wasn't just dumb. I was just like riding on this high that a guy finally liked me because as Sad. a naive fat girly pop, I kind of developed this scarcity mindset that no one would ever like me because of my size. But That's pretty much true there are people out there that will like you based on your size but i would always stress like when you're dating somebody right that is that is with you for your size do they do they not care that you're fat like because it'd be for me personally it'd be like dating somebody that has a glaring medical condition that i can see daily that i know is getting worse and you're doing nothing about it why would i not encourage you to to do something about that, encourage you to go to the doctor or encourage you to make healthier decisions. I always stress like, it's great that you found somebody that can enjoy you for you. Why isn't that person helping you? Why isn't that person talking to you about your problems or your issues or like encouraging? And don't get me wrong. I'm sure that the person that you're dating also has issues as well. But usually when people go like, oh, I have this issue. Well, you have this issue. Why are you deflecting, right? In these scenarios, like if you're a fat girly pop or whatever she called herself, um, I, why isn't your boyfriend slash man's is telling you that you have a problem weight wise? I get it. Like you might think that he's just accepting you for the way you are. But oftentimes that stuff's just enabling. Like they're passively enabling you by doing nothing thing they're enabling you and i get it it's very difficult sometimes when you're in relationships it's harder to talk about the things of value than it is to just kind of let things coast because you don't want to start up a conversation that may or may not end the relationship or um that might mean that that, that, that there's going to be a longer like spew of like oh i an argument or there might be an actual problem there in the relationship but knowing that stuff in the back of your mind only makes that situation worse you know what i'm talking about like if you're thinking about that stuff then you actually do have an issue in that relationship and you're just not talking about it so you don't have to make it an actual issue, but it's still an issue. You understand? So that's what I would always ask. Like, I understand it's great that you found somebody that's now okay with your plus sizeness, but that's not even good. It's actually bad in my opinion. That's enabler. It's like dating somebody. It's like somebody going like, I'm a crackhead. Um, I just wish to find somebody that's okay with me being a crackhead. And I finally found somebody that's okay with me being a crackhead. I guess. I mean, I get it's not exact, right? But it's just, you know, it's it, it, you, you understand what I'm saying. 
I kind of developed this scarcity mindset that no one would ever like me because of my size. But that's not true, and it's a stupid ass mindset to have. I've been with my. It isn't true. Like there are people out there that will like you at the size that you are, but you're diminishing your possibilities drastically because being fat is like notoriously not good. It's just absolutely abhorrent. So sure, there are people that are gonna like you. There are people out there, but like I said before. They might just be enablers. They might just be like very low down individuals. It might be people that are very down bad. They might be people that have no options. Like, or they could be good wholehearted individuals. But even on that scenario, why are they not helping you lose weight? Because they don't want to have that conversation or, or maybe they just like you being fat. Partner for three years now. And this man shows me off. And don't get me wrong. Showing off your partner really should be the bare minimum. But when you're... I just don't know what you mean by showing you off, bro. Like, I don't really care to show off anybody that I'm dating. Like, I'm not really... Like, I know a lot of people find a lot of value in the person that they're with. But I, I, I necessarily don't care about that. Uh, personally... I don't know why so many people find so much value in it, dude. I mean, I get it. Like, if you're dating somebody very, very attractive, it might be like... Cool that people acknowledge that, but I don't really care. Like I've dated very, very attractive women before, and uh, they've the women that have gotten like tremendous compliments on a daily basis. But it's like whatever to me. I don't, you know, I don't care, dude. It's great that you're really, really attractive, but so like, what about me? Like I'm cool too, right? I'm it girl. I'm an it girl, right? I don't know, bro. I just think that sometimes when people say like showing me off is the bare minimum it just depends on what you mean by showing you off if you mean passively in society sure i guess but like on what well like social media I, I don't know about that usually if you display your partner on social media it almost always ends bad because like if you guys break up or have like a moment where things are compromised now you got to delete all these pictures and you got to go over why people's especially if you're in the social media landscape it's terrible plus size and dating it almost feels expected that we should just be grateful that we're fat and someone's showing some degree of interest in us. So if you're fat and your partner isn't showing you off, leave them. Because no. I just want to know what you mean by showing them off. You didn't go over. Like, I need an example. That's what I need. I need an example when you say showing a, showing you off. Is it passively, like in society? Sure. If he's not, if you're dating somebody that's not passively showing you off in society, meaning like you're not going outside with them ever, then yeah, probably don't, don't date them yeah I, I agree but it's like if you're talking about if you're dating somebody and they say i just i'm not going to post you on social media or whatever i would i would definitely question that like what the motives are from that but i would also probably be okay with that as well like, i don't care if you don't want to show me off that's showing fine. some degree of interest in us so if you're fat and your partner isn't showing you off leave them because no matter what size you are you deserve to not settle and it's genuinely always it just depends on what you mean by settle bro I, I would just need an example what you mean by settle i've met a lot of women that have told me straight out if you don't got 10 inches then i can't date you because i'm not gonna settle or i've met women that have told me like if you were born in a particular month i'm not gonna settle sometimes it's ridiculous okay not all the time it's not a reflection on all women that have these particular weird standards and even some guys have weird standards right like women that want like oh i can't can't date a woman that doesn't have a cleansed butthole like she has to have that shit bleached or i need a woman that's consistently always in the you know getting her makeup done and she's like pretty consistently sure these guys also have very unrealistic standards so i would just i would love to know what you mean by standards like don't lower your standards sometimes your standards are ridiculous sometimes standards are not a good thing like i've been watching pop the balloon on live streams every night not every night but like almost every night we were watching pop the, by the way checking on our live streams every night at around 6 p.m but I've been watching these pop the balloon shows. Dude, I literally saw this one woman that said, like, if he isn't six foot five, then I can't date him. And then we looked it up on stream how tall or how what the, what the percentage of the population is six foot um, five. And it's fewer than one percent of men are uh, above six foot five. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Your standards are too high. You, you're literally like if one percent of men are the only eligible candidates for you. What percentage of that 1% is gay? What percentage of that 1% are like not interested in you? What percentage of that 1% are already married? What percentage of that 1%? You know what I'm talking about? Like you're, you're reducing it down to like such a ridiculous portion size. And sometimes your standards are, are not good. Okay, like people should have realistic standards. If you're shooting too high and you know you're never going to hit it, then what's the point of even having that as a marker? You understand? That'd be like somebody going like, I'm going to make a bajillion dollars this year. And then by the end of the year, you didn't make anywhere close. Now you're depressed. Why the fuck did you have a marker that high? That's like somebody going. That's like me, right? I'm 150 pounds. And I go, I want to I want to bench press 300 pounds this year. That's an unrealistic standard for me, bro. I can't even bench like half of that, right? But the point I'm making is, you need to, it, those standards that you have, like me having that standard of like, I'm going to do th like 400 pounds or 300 pounds this year on bench press. That's an unrealistic standard in the same way that if your standards are like, 
I don't know, being shown off or something like that. It's not necessarily bad, but I would just always wonder what are those standards? And sometimes they might be a little bit too high. It's better to be alone than feel lonely in your relationship. And that's it. Bye, chunky people. The last part is pretty accurate. One thing that I think is so- Like sometimes, okay, no problem at all when people have, like- she had some tidbits of good information here. You're not always going to agree with everything everybody says. But the majority of what she said was hogwash. Literally. The majority of what she said is hogwash. So this person has some good information. And just because somebody has some really good information. It's like somebody saying like, oh, Adolf Hitler said some good stuff. So, you know, we could just pick and choose, I guess. I guess if that's really what the bar is. Like, if you think that Adolf Hitler said some good stuff. But the majority of the stuff he did was bad. I understand what you're saying, but like I would always go, we probably shouldn't be using Adolf Hitler as like a guide to judge based off of good things they said. There are plenty of other people that say great, great, amazing, beautiful stuff that are not Adolf Hitler. We should maybe go for those those people instead of Adolf Hitler. Alone, then feel lonely. I'm not, in by the way, I'm not saying she's Adolf Hitler. Okay, I'm just it was just a correlation. Relationship, and that's it. Bye, chunky people. Hi, One thing that I think is so unfair about being a fat friend is that oftentimes we're the ones that got to run interference between our slim friend and a random man out in public at a function at a club but once we do that we're the big linebackers we're we're the rv built hoes that's hating we're jealous and we don't want to see nobody happy when nine times out of ten the girl told me before we left the house do not let me get my number out she said, girl, you know how I get when I get a couple of drinks in me. Don't let me get my number out to no man. I don't like that when people say that shit, dude. Like, you're 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 setting me up for failure now. And by the way, you're putting yourself in a compromised position. Just don't put yourself in a position where you're going to be giving out numbers if you don't want to give out numbers, bro. You shouldn't be relying on friends in this particular type of way. I, it's like holding your friends emotionally hostage, and now they have to be there. That they have to be there to run interference for you and deal with the blowback of all <laughs> the dudes calling you RV backs, which is crazy as hell. I've never heard that before in my life. I see where she's coming from on that, dude. But I don't know what this has, I don't know what this has to do with being fat. I think this is just a thing that happens in general. I don't know. I don't like hang around with women in this particular way. So you guys can let me know. <laughs> is this something that's transpiring and do you not like it? And I said, okay, I got you. So now I see y'all shit chatting in the function. You're asking for a number. I walk up and I'm like, oh, nah, she good. She good. You, oh, nah, your friend, she want to come with me. She want to give me her number. She acted like she don't know why I'm doing this. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. If Okay, look, I get it, dude. I get it. Like, you want to be like that passive, like, oh, my God, I just don't understand why my friend's doing this. But she's like, she's my friend, so I got to listen to her. No, stop being a bitch. Stop being a fucking bitch, dude, okay? If you don't want to give out the number... And you're acting like weird when your friend comes over and goes, no, she can't give out the number because she literally told me earlier today to not tell her to give out her number. Your friend's just an asshole. Why are you even in a position like this where your friend is doing some fucked up dumb shit like that? Your friend's a bitch, a pussy. That's terrible. That's ungodly levels of behavior. Instead of like, okay, no problem. The guy's in the wrong, obviously, especially if he says like, oh, no, she, like, she wanted to give a number. There, there should be a little bit of pushback there because like the girl's about to give out the number and you come over and you go, hey no she said no numbers and you're just like what the fuck are you talking about? she's literally writing it down as we speak why are you coming over here running interference for this shit for no other reason but like her backstory is different from your backstory obviously he's trying to get her number so like they're not necessarily wrong on both sides but we know the 100 percent person that is wrong is the girl that told you not to not to give out the number and then she proceeds to give out the numbers and now she's upset that you're giving that you're like she's running passive it, this whole situation is fucked. Like, I, I almost can't even believe this is a situation in place. That person that you're friends with right now is an asshole. Yo, friend, she want to come with me. She want to give me her number. She acted like she don't know why I'm doing this. Oh, my gosh, girl, it's okay. Sir, you did not see it, but when you had your back turned buying the drink, she was giving me the eyes. You could... Your friend's a bitch. Okay, like, uh, your friend's just a bitch. That's a terrible friend you got there, right there. Um, I understand she's trying to be cutesy about it or whatever. That's not cute. It's not cute, okay? If you don't want to give the guy the number, I understand there are social ramifications for somebody doing stuff like that, but nut up or shut up, bro. If you don't want to give the guy the number out, dude, I understand that it might be easier for you to have your big-backed friend to come over and, like, run interference like that, but just say no. Just be like, I'm good, dude. I'm not trying to do that. Like, again, I'm, I'm looking at this from the male perspective, so maybe it's a little bit easier for me to, like, sit there and be like, no, don't do that. But then again, dude, what the fuck are we even arguing about right now? Your friend is literally arguing with you about you running interference for her when she told you to run interference for her, and now you're arguing with her and the guy about giving out the number. Like, this whole situation is just booty washed. Like, this whole thing is crazy. 
why is your friend acting like that? That's terrible, bro. She went. That was my signal to come over there. That's the only reason I came up. I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck what she do. I don't care. You should. Your friend's an asshole for that. I do not. And she could give her number to every single dude in this club. I wouldn't care. But she, she gave me specific instructions before we even left the house. And I'm just trying to be a good friend. Okay? She not being a good friend, huh? She's holding you, like, as if you don't got shit going on, right, dude? Like, I get it, dude. It's all right to be a wingman or, like, I guess a wing woman or whatever the reverse of that is here. But, uh, dude, your friend is terrible. That's a terrible friend right there. That's not somebody I would want to be friends with. You're being a good friend, but in the, like, your friend is being an asshole to you. Okay. Damn. Not everybody always hating. I read something really sad today, and it was a girl who was plus size, a curvy girl, and she says that she's always making excuses before going on a, on a date with a guy because she's always worried that why didn't we take off the jacket before we started the video bro like what what is the i'm sorry dad like it's just weird when i see dudes come like he just came to the house he couldn't be bothered walks by the coat rack there's something about this guy that just pisses me off you know what i'm saying dude like you could just tell that he, he thinks that he's like really hot i don't know i just don't like it making excuses before going on a, on a date with a guy because she's always worried that the guy's not gonna like her for who she really like looks like in person. This is some he's gonna virtue signal. He's gonna moral high ground this shit. He's gonna be like, oh no, oh no, I think I don't need what is this? Scotland by the way. Scottish accent by the way, that's right. I appreciate girls for the way they are. Like so I'm guessing that he's gonna probably say some dumb shit like that, like, oh, you know, I don't think that women are you know, I think that women are more than just their physical appearance. I don't know why women are insecure about the way they look. Like, no, all women are goddesses, bro. Shut up, dude. If they, you know, if that's what he's going to say, dude, that's some cringy ass shit. Nobody thinks like that, bro. Literally nobody thinks like that, bro. You, you do realize that physical uh, physical attraction is pretty important for, like, the majority of people. It's not, it's not a far-fetched idea to say if somebody doesn't like you physically that they're not going to want to date you. I don't know why that's a crazy idea. But anyway, bro, keep making this video. Keep walking by that coat rack while you're wearing a coat, bro. Go ahead, man. He's always wearing that the guy's not gonna like her for who she really like looks like in person and because she's maybe a bit thicker than she looks in her photos and I felt so sad because you know what honestly I look at someone's photos and I'm like yeah wow I'm attracted I look at the eyes I look at the smile but do you look at the gut do you look at the fupa do you look at the armpit hair like shut the fuck up bro no, like all right bro no problem no problem bro you know women do have some pretty eyes yup mm -hmm, I agree you look at the eyes but then I go eyes damn that's a big gut okay bro like is it is it really that crazy for somebody to be looking at any bro people do this all the time in general okay i read some statistics somewhere that most men when they meet another man for the first time they like puff out their chest and immediately look at the dick to see if the guy has a bigger meat than them obviously you're not gonna be able to see that because the guy's wearing pants maybe for me you're gonna be able to see it because i'm big meated but you know what i'm saying like people are looking at social cues they're looking at physical representations of individuals and that's okay because we have we have attractions, okay? Like, I like women that have, uh, you know, rib cages. I like women that have um, flat stomachs for the most part. I like women that have elbows, and that's all right, you know? Like, of course, it, you're going to say the gay shit, like, I look at the eyes, you know? That's right, the guys, I look at the eyeballs. Like, I get it, dude, but, like, come on, dude. Stop being, stop being like that. Why are you acting like all those other guys are, like, lesser than you because you can see something that we can't? You're, you just stop. That's cringe. Someone's photos, and I'm like, yeah, wow, I'm attracted. I look at the eyes, I look at the smile, and the fashion and what, how they dress and present themselves. But, but do you see what's underneath that fashion, though? Like, how that body is is flexing out those those clothes? Man, this guy, bro, this guy, I don't like it, dude. I, I don't like it when dudes... I don't like it in general when people pander. I don't like that shit. I don't like it when people try to make it seem like they're better than they actually are. This guy's obviously putting on a facade to make it seem like he's a lot better than he actually is. He's not. That's just, just fucking crazy, bro. This guy is literally out here trying to pander to women to try to make it seem like he's cooler or, like, way better than he actually is, bro. Like, sh dude, come on. Stop. Stop being a bitch, bro. But never do I expect them to look like that. And I Listen, if I'm on a dating app, okay, and I'm sitting here and I'm looking through somebody's photos, okay, and I'm seeing like, okay, this is, uh, I'm seeing the photos, I'm hoping that they look like this, because that's what it is. I'm not going to look at a fucking photo of like, a, I don't know, a Tesla Model S and show up to the dealership and they're like, yep, here's the Tesla Model S. Uh, that looks like a 2018, this looks like a 2008 Prius. Are you sure this is a Model S? Yeah.
this is a Model S. Even though it says Toyota right on the hood and it says Prius right there, um, this is a Model S, 100%. Yeah, so you're going to buy it? I don't, like, what is even the question here? You don't expect the women to look like what they look like on their profile picture? Then what the fuck are you expecting? Am I supposed to, like, show, if I, so I'm, I'm swiping right on this black girl and I show up and it turns out she's not black at all. She's just a, she's a complete white woman, dude. And what? And so I should, should I just like not assume like, oh, you know, maybe things changed. Maybe she took the picture like six months ago. No, no. You should be a representation of what you look like on your profile picture. Am I wrong? You might have longer hair. You might have a different style of facial hair. You might have different clothes. Okay. But like overall, yeah, the, the general idea of what that person looks like should not be like a, I don't know. Like I, you look different. Like, what are you talking about, bro? What are you saying right now? And what, how they dress and present themselves. But never do I expect them to look like that. And I don't expect somebody to look exactly how I look in person as well. So what the fuck are you talking about, bro? It's a general idea of what you're looking like. If you, obviously I don't expect you to wear the exact outfit that you wear in your pro dude. <laughs> We gotta we gotta dial back the cringe by like a good forty percent. Like it's it's real. It's actually kind of hard. It's hard to watch you, bro. Social media is fake, you know. <sighs> bro, it's a dating app, right? It's a dating app. I understand. Like maybe you can see social media and dating apps as synonymous, but this is a very particular thing. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Like when you're on social media, you put your best foot forward. You're gonna show people exactly what how you want people to perceive you. You're gonna choose the best pictures. Maybe you're scrolling through a million different pictures to ensure that this is the optimal way that people can perceive you. But if you're literally catfishing people and then you show up and you look nothing like you look like on your profile picture, I'm gonna call you out on that. I don't know why that's a crazy thing to say, and I understand that you can forgive that because social media is like you're showing the 100% version of yourself and maybe when you show up, you're like 60% of that. I get that. But that's not that's not even what you're saying here. You're saying like, I would, I would, scrolling by the way, I would never, I would never uh, think that a woman was going to show up and she was going to be different. Like, of course she's going to be different. No, bro, that's fucking terrible. If I've went to meet someone, it's because I like the conversation. <sighs> so you want a dating app. And you really only get to judge somebody based off their physical appearance because that's what dating apps are. Sure, you could look through the profile. Sure, you could see that they're a non-smoker. Sure, you could see they're a cat lover. Sure, you could see a few different prompts on their things. But the majority of the reason why somebody swipes right on somebody is because they looked at their physical appearance. Why are you acting like this, bro? Stop, be stop, bro. It's cringe, bro. It's giving so much cringe, dude. You why are you acting like you're better than all the other dudes out there? You're not. You're just like us, bro. Stop acting like you're better than us. You're not morally superior, dude. Shut up. You know, if I have went to meet someone, it's because I liked the conversation. I liked the vibes that I got through the phone. Do you understand? Does anybody know what I mean? Like, you can actually pick up on a vibe through a phone. It's not just how somebody looks. I can actually tell if somebody's not right for me just by the messages that they, they say. Right, because if somebody says like, yeah, I like eating, I like eating like squirrels out of trees and one time I stuck my penis in a tree stump and it felt really good. Obviously block that individual. Why? What is, bro, I know there are a bunch of dudes out there on TikTok that like to pander, okay? They, they do. There's a whole bunch of people out there trying to make it seem like they're a lot cooler or they're a lot better than they actually are because there's a lot of value in being like, I'm different. I'm different, the guys. Like, trust me. I know what I'm doing, right? There's a lot of guys out there that do that shit. You're not different, okay? Like, nine times out of ten, this guy has the same shit as, like, every other guy, and that's okay. Um, it's okay to think that some women are more attractive than other women in the same way that some women think that men, some men are more attractive than other men. And that's okay. That's all right. Stop acting like you're fucking different, bro. We need to dial the cringe back by like 60%, bro. You're getting too cringy right now. It's actually insane. You have a lot of cringe emanating right now. Your aura through the roof. Send me. I like to get deep with someone. I like to have a good conversation. I don't like small talk. Like, fuck that. I don't know if anybody agrees, but I like when I talk about psychology, philosophy, and actually... Oh! <sighs> Oh, we're, we're getting deep cringe right now, bro. Can you imagine being on a date with a girl and going like, yeah, so like, what do you think about, like, what do you think about the state of the world? Like, what do you think about the, like, homelessness and like this and that? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? The first date we talking about this shit? What do you, what if she's just not interested in that? What if she's not interested in the things you're interested in? Are you just fucked because you want to talk about psychology, but she doesn't want to talk about that or philosophy or whatever the fuck you said? What are you talking about, bro? Why do you? 
Why are you trying to make yourself sound a lot deeper than you actually are? It's I to have basic bare bones bitch conversations with people because you don't know who that person is yet. So things are going to get a little bit weird at first. It's okay to have like normal conversations with people. Bro. To talk about like philosophy on the first date is cringes. Who is this guy? This guy is cringe as hell. What the hell are you talking about? Like, oh yeah, I'm different guys. Like when I, when I, are women like watching this and going like, oh my God, he's such a sweetheart. He wants to talk about philosophy. He's not going to judge me based off my physical appearance. Even though he literally, if I look through all his dating apps, he's only liked women with ginormous boobs and big butts. Okay. Yeah. Totally fine. This guy is definitely authentic. Yeah. Chef's kiss. This guy right here, very authentic. Everything he's saying, I'm sure is true to, down to the T. I don't know if anybody agrees, but I like when I talk about psychology, philosophy, and actually open up about things that are interesting to me. Yeah, what about what about, what about things that are interesting to her? Like, what if she wants to talk about like eggs, like boiled eggs? Like, can you not talk about boiled eggs then? Like, is it just got to be philosophy and psychology? Like, okay, bro, whatever. Like, I'm not really interested in those things either. I mean, to maybe to a certain degree, but I like I like Star Wars. Like, what am I just gonna be like fucked up now because she doesn't like Star Wars? Okay. Even though to me. They would be a bit boring. So I always worry that people are going to get bored by my interests. Like, my hobbies include going to coffee shops and staring at people, um, reading about books, about psychology, and how to better myself, and watching gym motivational videos. Yeah, you're so great, bro. You're such a great guy. You're, you're such a great guy. Wow. You really do all those things, huh? You watch gym motivational videos. You read books on how to make yourself better. And you like philosophy. Wow, bro. You're a basket of amazing stuff. There's not a single bad thing about... Who is this guy, bro? This guy's pissing me to fuck off, bro. You're not a real human being, bro. You're literally a facade. You're a mask. You're an illusion. Because you think that this is how you get women. You're fucking gross, dude. Put on an actual... Get your own personality instead of adopting the best traits that you found on, like, Facebook pages, bro. What are you doing right now, man? This is a, so cringe, dude. Is any... Can, can we just, like, real quick in the comment section. Am I just getting the wrong vibes from this dude, bro? This is all inauthentic, right? My bad. Yeah, this is all inauthentic, right? This is literally the entire embodiment of a guy that's trying to gaslight you into bed whilst trying to be the guy that's telling you that he's not doing that this guy is cringe beyond belief i don't like him i don't like this fucking guy i don't like him at all and i think he's got a lot of bottom teeth i don't like that shit okay bro get your fucking patrick bateman vibes out of my face go hang up your fucking jacket and go tell a couple more women about how much you like philosophy bro i'm sure that many women are gonna appreciate that like i'm quite a boring person but you know oh he's such he's such a pick me He's such a fucking pick me, bro. Oh, that's I, every time I start up a Scottish Scottish accent, I gotta do that. From Scotland, by the way. Oh, I think it's a, a wee bit weird that you know. Oh, I, I'm a boring traits. I have a you know. I go to coffee shops and things like that. And so, like, I don't know. Like, me, I I can't do a Scottish accent. Not really. It, it tends to drift away. But to sit there and be like, I'm boring. It's so pick me. It's so pick me, bro. You're such a fucking pick me. Oh, he's gross. Watching gym motivational videos. Like, I'm quite a boring person, but, you know, it's not all about how we look. So stop worrying and looking inward all the time and stop making excuses. If you see somebody, you like them online, you go and meet them, they don't like you, oh my goodness, that's their loss. Have that fucking security within yourself that you are actually so much more than your size. Okay? And also, we love your size. The thick thighs make good wives. The thick thighs have got my eyes. <laughs> oh. oh, damn. Damn. Oh. Ooh, damn. Ooh, fuck. Ooh, damn. I can't do that, bro. I, we can't. I can't do that here, dude. That was some omega level cringe right there, bro. The pandering, the pandering, bro. The 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 just trying to make yourself seem like you're way better than you actually are. You you gaslighting people into thinking you're a better person than you actually are. You're just you're just such a fucking pussy. You're such a pussy, bro. Such a bitch. You're such a fucking bitch, bro. And you're cringe beyond belief. Like I. 
Me, if I was a woman right now, my vagina would have literally formed into a penis because of how disgusting everything that you said. My shit is dried up beyond belief, bro. Oh my God. Who is out here watching this thinking that this guy is like the apex human being, like the picture of masculinity, like this guy's fucking, oh, it's just bad. This is like, do you know the red pill guys that sit there and go like, oh yeah, women just fucking dishwashers, you know, cook and clean. This, this guy's the reverse of that. And that's also bad. Ah, ah, oh, it's bad. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. We got to end it here. I can't. That was way too cringe. <sighs> Anyway, we're going to end it here, guys. Sorry. That was really bad. That guy was fucking awful. Holy shit. Please let me know down below what you think about that guy. Anyway, um, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. I appreciate everything. That was all. Thank you so much for doing all those things. <sighs> If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in cringe. That was cringe. It was cringe. It was too cringe. It was way too cringe, bro. He needs to lower that cringe. He needs to go to therapy or something or find someone that he can confine. Because all... people should, bro, the fact that he was capable of saying that stuff on social media and he was confident enough to post that is. No. So that means there are people that liked it. That means that, like, people were watching that and, like, there were people going like, mm, yes, that's exactly true. I am a queen. I am fat, but I am a queen. This Scottish man with the blue eyes that didn't hang up his coat when he came into the thing to make a point in the video because he thought he looked better with the coat on, he knows, mm-hmm, I'm never going to change for any, for no man. I'm going to date this Scottish dude. Shut up, bro. Shut up. You're bad, too. That's gross, okay? It's okay to lose weight. <sighs> You're beautiful. You smell great. You are great. I love your lubrification when it comes to the ingestion of water. Thank you so much for lubricating the inner cords of your mouth. That's great, beautiful, and amazing. Your vocal pattern is awesome and beautiful in so many different ways. I got to end the video. I'm sorry, dude. But you're beautiful. You're amazing. If you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.